Detroit Under Stress. It's a new documentary about one of the nation's most controversial police operations from nearly 50 years ago. I'm joined by the film's uh, producer and director, David Van Wee, and he's Having also me. a Detroit native, so we're excited. Yeah. We love to see Detroit native, uh, you know, producers, filmmakers uh, doing well and, and taking locally grown stuff um, out to the rest of the world. So first of all, tell us what this documentary is all about. So back in 1971, crime in Detroit was through the roof. You had a 300% increase in the murder rate. You had a 600% increase in the robbery rate from a decade earlier. And they were trying to figure out how do we start curbing this violence. Mm. And so they put together a decoy unit, which were undercover officers who were all volunteers, by the way. And the idea was we want you to wander the worst parts of Detroit late at night and try and get robbed so we can start catching these people. Mm, so bait so, people, essentially. Uh, to, to a certain degree, yes. Mm -hmm. um, they were trying to get these people who were um, mugging and robbing people off the street because if they were robbing you, in all likelihood they were killing you because they didn't want to leave a witness. And so when you come after the fact, you've got a, a dead body and no witnesses, and what do you do? Yeah. So they were trying to be proactive in their policing. This is really interesting because I actually, before you were coming on, I had no idea this unit existed and I'm sure that's what you find with most people you talk to is that they didn't even know uh, this unit existed, but you, like you said, it was very undercover. This story has been buried for 50 years. We have been kicked out of the Detroit Police Department. We have had unbelievable pushback getting Freedom of Information Act files on some of the shootings that happened. Um, we were supposed to screen this with the Charles Wright Museum a year and a half ago, and they suppressed the film. I mean, it's been unbelievable how difficult it's been to get the film out. And, you know, I do want to mention, first of all, before we go any further, mm -hmm. tell us, I mean, STRESS actually is an acronym. It stands for something. What is it? It is. For? So STRESS is the acronym for Stop the Robberies, Enjoy Safe Streets. Okay. And um, that's what they called it. So that's, that's what they called it. Correct. Yes. And you are a Detroit native, as I just mentioned. And how, how did that really play into how you developed this film? So full disclosure, my father was one of those stress officers. Wow. And uh, I didn't know what my dad did growing up. I had no idea. Uh, he lived outside the city and never wore a uniform. Mm. So I was told he worked for the city and that was it. And so uh, I didn't really know the story of stress till about four years ago when my dad finally told me, you get little bits and pieces right. here and there, but he finally told me the whole story and I, I just was blown away. Wow. And then I thought, this is a story that's wow, got to be that's told. that's incredible. So you're telling a, you know, a piece of history, but you're also telling his story in a way. And that's... Have, it is. So there's really a personal cool. connection, but we do, we're very, you know, we do have both sides in the film. And that's what we do through the film is we pull you one way and we pull you the other. We have uh, Melba Boyd in the film. We have Kenny Cockrell Jr. in the film, who's one of the former mayors. And all the people that are associated with the other side of the issue as well. So we let each side tell their side of the story yeah. and uh, let you make your own decisions. That's really beautiful. Yeah. So the, the viewer gets to be challenged and, and makes them question, um, you know, what they thought about what our history was. Really, really cool. And I know that it's going to be, um, you're going to be showing it Today, is that correct? Today, we are, we're just thrilled after going through all the trouble of getting it here. Yeah. Uh, that we're going to be at the Royal Star Film Festival, and it's going to be at 3 p.m. Perfect. And it's at the Imagine Theater. Right and, there in um, Royal Oak. Is that, that's an 11 mile, correct? I believe I, so, right off of... I believe it's off of Maine, but yeah. Um, yeah, just look it up. It's Imagine Theaters. All right. Very, very good. Very, you know, I'm so excited for you. This is really, really cool. Thanks. We're and um, we're going to definitely post the details at WXYZ.com so all the viewers can make sure to go out and support the film. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much, David. Appreciate it.